Hello, this is New Wave of British Heavy Metal.com. Today is the 13th of October 2020, and in this video, I'd like to revisit uh, a review of Grim Reaper's album, which came out last year at the gates. Uh, before we get into that, uh, the usual request, if you wouldn't mind, please, and that is to subscribe to the channel. That would be seriously appreciated and a really big help. But back to the album, Grim, Grim Reaper at the gates. Grim Reaper, of course, going all the way back to the original New Wave of British Heavy Metal days were, were, were around back then. And it was looking good for them. Looked like they were going to go places. They, they um, recorded and released two fantastic top-notch albums in See You in Hell and Fear No Evil. It looked like major success for them back then was in Touching Distance. You know, they, they were popular in America, playing to big crowds and all the rest of it. And then, you know, the, the, the classic rock and roll tale, I suppose, it, it all went wrong. It all went wrong for them back then. But as, as we say, history is history and we can't change that. But the good news is that main man Steve Grimmett is, is a hard bloke to keep down in, uh, in, in the best traditions of the Blues Brothers, got the band back together recently. And now we can all enjoy this rather excellent offering at the gates, which uh, does really serve as a testimony to, to Grimmett's longevity and, and ability to, to put out an album which bristles with power and at the same time harks back to the good old days of the 1980 when when the Wobbin was was taking off we've got 11 tracks here it's full of like brutal riffage some really superb shredding a massive rhythm section and of course we, we got steve's really powerful vocals as well but e even though the album is is definitely powerful it, it's not without its melody and its hooks either and it, it really is a cracker which which delivers from start to finish first track to last you know the, the title track starts things off and that that hits you squarely between the eyes a, a monster crunching riff and some really scorching guitar work venom uh, also similarly excellent check out the introduction for example it's short and it's brutal and then the song develops into a really memorable more melodic style of rocker with a big chorus very catchy very tasty and you know so it goes over the remainder of the album particular highlights for me being the hand that rocks the cradle rush and only when i sleep you know guitarist ian nash is uh, as they say all over it banging out those big riffs and the, the, the nifty fireworks on the fretboard uh, monster stuff uh, you know in, in the cd booklet for example the dedication in this starts so here it is and well worth the wait and um, if, if i may say so i certainly agree with with that sentiment at the gates is first rate stuff it mixes like old school new wave of british heavy metal with, with big modern fresh sound powerful throughout hits hard go out and get it you know wh whether you're an old nawabam fan like me that remember grim reaper from the old days or you just like good stuff good, good heavy rock heavy metal music grim reaper and at, at the gates may well be for you if it is check it out as usual there is a link in the description underneath this video which, which will take you to the album on Amazon if you want to pick a copy up. And also, if you'd like to visit it, the full review, which is on the website as well. So uh, check it out if you'd like to. As I say, links below. And as, as always, a quick reminder that if you wouldn't mind, please subscribing to the channel. That would be appreciated and a big help as well. And uh, also, as always, times two. Thanks for watching and take care.